This is in Jitega sector near Ujenje district of Kigali city and local authorities are checking on COVID-19 patients that are in self-isolation in their homes after testing positive for the virus. I was given this electronic bracelet by policemen two days after I tested positive and they told me that I must wear it everywhere I go. For most Self-isolation at home is not terrible because they check on you. It is unfortunate when a person tests positive for it and then continues going about knowingly spreading it. They told me what I must do to protect myself and others and also provided me with food supplies so I have no problem. Anyone who does not take this seriously has not seen a person on their deathbed because of this virus. As a young man, I had become accustomed to going about as I please, which, of course, I cannot do now, and that can be difficult to accept, but it is necessary nevertheless. I can only eat when they bring food for me, and that is hard. Local health workers and officials are given COVID-19 patients in self-isolation in their homes assurances that they are going to be followed up on, and if any is in need of specialized care, they will be transferred to hospital. The national police, in the meantime, is warning patients against refusing to remain home because they face penalties for refusing to do so. We are closely monitoring such people, such that anyone who does not respect the guidelines given by RBC can, one, be taken to an isolated treatment center, two, face a fine, or three, face even more severe penalties under law if they are found to willingly go around spreading the virus. People should respect these measures. There is no need to be stubborn about it. As of Wednesday this week, Rwanda's Ministry of Health had recorded 6,129 active COVID-19 cases, with slightly more than 500 being treated in hospitals and other treatment centers, and the rest in self-isolation in their homes.